Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to embed an Excel file into PowerPoint and also how to name it and rename it or basically name the caption if something does go wrong with the caption name. So I'm in PowerPoint and I've got this icon here that looks like an Excel icon. If I double click it, it's going to bring up an Excel file. You can see that it brought up an Excel file here. I can change it. Let's say this was not the correct name here or they changed it. I changed it to Barrington, back to Barrington. Click Save or I'll just close this and we have our file here. Oh, and now you've noticed that the, the caption name is missing and I'll show you how to that can be fixed later on. But this is how we can do it. First, let's delete this one, delete that. And all you need to do to embed a file is just go to insert and find the object. And you can just click that and that will give you the insert object window. If you had a hard time finding this because your icons were minimized or whatnot, you can actually just search for it too. Just search for object, press enter, and you should get that same uh, object thing. Or maybe insert object would be probably better if I did insert object. It would give me the same window and it will open it up. And what we want to do is we want to create it from a file. So this is, in essence, we have already an Excel file somewhere on in our directory. I'm going to go browse for it. Here I've browsed for my file. This is the Excel that I want in there. The Excel I want in there. I click OK and it's going to put it in there. And if I want to link to that file, I can click on this link. And what it does is it creates a link to that file that's somewhere in my folder path and if I update that file, the updates will show up in PowerPoint once I double click that icon. But if I'm working with people to, and I'm sharing this as a PowerPoint presentation, that link's gonna get broken if I email to them. So I'm not gonna use that one. I'll uncheck that one. And the use case here is if that file static, we don't see too, that file changing, that Excel file changing, and we just want to have the data there to be viewable. There's two ways we can also do this. If I click OK without selecting that, it's going to put in that first active sheet, whatever content is in that first active sheet. And that's just going to be a table and a pie chart. But if we didn't want that in there, we just wanted to show that icon, it'd be something else that we would select. So let's delete this and go back into that window. Delete this, go back into that window, go to insert object, and I'll browse for that file again. I'm back in my insert object window. What I want to choose is have it display as an icon. So I have this icon display it. And by default, it's just going to say something really generic, like, like Microsoft Excel worksheet. I want to change the icon. And in changing the icon, it also gives you the option of changing the caption, the name of it. Now, they give you a bunch of choices to choose from in this window, but I'll just stick with the standard icon. And here's where we can change the name of the icon. I, I can just call this one employee IPs, right? Click OK and click OK. And now we just will have that icon with that caption name, right? And so this is kind of nice. We sometimes we have bullet points. We can just put it in here uh, off to the side and ask people to double click it. Or if you want to be more specific for people to double click it, maybe you can just change that name here. So I can just right click, go to worksheet objects, click convert. And instead of employee IPs, I can just say click this for to open up the uh, Excel file. And so I can just do that here. And I'll just click on change icon again. And here, click. Maybe this is more instructive. Click to open Excel file. Click OK. Click OK. And now we have clicked open Excel file. So that's the way that we can kind of rename that caption there. So that's what how you would embed an Excel file into PowerPoint. And this is assuming that you have a static file. Um, there's no changes to the Excel file. This is just for presentation you want to email to your colleagues or your stakeholders and you want to share that data. It, it does increase the size of your PowerPoint file depending on how large your Excel file is but this is how you do it. Hope that helps and don't forget to subscribe to get notified for more future videos.